Welcome back to IBM Business Automation Studio, your one-stop shop for creating and managing business automation projects. In this demo, we'll see how a more technical user creates a toolkit and template to help business users create a mortgage approval app. You can download the mortgage approval sample assets to try this yourself. Just click the link in the description. Let's get started. First, we'll open our preferences and switch to the advanced view, a view designed for more technical users. From the home page, we'll open our toolkits. Think of toolkits as libraries of building blocks that can be used to create applications. You'll notice that we've already imported the sample toolkits, the credit card department toolkit and the workflow services toolkit. Also, we've already imported the mortgage process app to the BAW server, which we'll see later. To start, let's create our toolkit for the mortgage utilities. By leaving the Open in Designer box checked, we're immediately directed to App Designer. Now we can start developing the toolkit. First, we'll add the Workflow Services Toolkit as a dependency. Because our users will be creating mortgage approval apps, we'll need to create a couple actions for them to call. Start with an action called Open Mortgage Account. From the diagram view, add a nested action. The implementation tab is where we define the behavior of the nested action. In this case, call the start process action, which is provided by the workflow services toolkit that we just added as a dependency. You'll notice that a configure button has appeared. This is what's known as an action configurator. It's designed to improve usability when configuring the start process action. Without this interface, we'd need to manually configure data variables and parameters. Now, we simply rely on drop-down menus that are pre-populated with available values. These values are coming from the BAW server. If we check the data mapping tab, notice the values and parameters are provided. And we'll just make sure the start and end nodes are wired properly. All right, with that action complete, let's create another. We'll call it is mortgage auto approved. This action will be used by business users to determine whether a mortgage request is automatically approved. Let's provide some input variables. One for the mortgage amount, which is a decimal, and one for the yearly income, which is also a decimal. And now for the output, called approved, which is a Boolean. The only thing left to configure for this action is a server-side script. We'll drag the script into the diagram, then add some simple code that uses the variables we just defined. Finally, we'll wire the script activity. Now, let's create a snapshot. If we switch back to the studio, we can see our toolkit is added to the toolkits page. That takes care of the toolkit. Now, in order for business users to start building their own apps, they need to base their apps on templates. So, let's create a template that leverages the new Mortgage Utilities Toolkit that we just created. We'll switch to the Templates page, click Create, and give the template a name. We don't need to define a starting point in this case, but we will need to add a toolkit dependency for the new Mortgage Utilities Toolkit. And we'll also add the Credit Department Toolkit as a dependency, which has a template that we'll use. Let's add the template to our starting page. When a business user starts creating their app, this will be the starting page that they work with. Lastly, we'll create a snapshot of our template. If we switch back to Studio, we can see that our template now appears and can be used by business users to create their own apps. And there you have it, 
business users are now ready to start creating mortgage approval apps in the studio. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.